Here is where it starts. 18-year-old Holden Ludwig. Five days after graduating high school. One day after he was T-boned in his car and critically injured. You feel like you're in a dream. It's a lonely world when you're, you're healing like this um, for so long. Recovery takes community. Neighbors hung blue ribbons. His school held a candlelight vigil. Holden knew none of this. Doctors said he had suffered the worst kind of traumatic brain injury. His victories, months later, were a raised arm, a held hat. Recognition of what an object is. Nice job, Holden. All these little victories that seem so silly, like putting a hat on, are huge. By early October, Holden was talking. I'm lucky. You're very lucky. By early November, he was walking with plenty of help. You just gotta look at the positive side of literally even like the worst moment. His community behind him, Holden made progress at facilities across Atlanta until the COVID-19 outbreak forced him to stay home. We feel that loss right now, especially because they say um, that build up to the year is the most important part for brain injury recovery. It's a tenuous time, but last week brought Holden's birthday and he showed right away he won't slow down. That was so relieving. Good job. It made me feel more, way more functional than I have been. I'm looking pretty too. You look beautiful. And then all of a sudden this, you know, train of cars. <laughs> Holden's community came through with a drive through celebration. They all like drove by with their their cool cars. It made me super happy and excited, I'll tell you that. We're not getting through this without a fight. Waiting to see how far Holden goes. And and I don't I don't honestly think he's done.